This video is about using decimal multiplication to express equivalent measurements. Big idea is you are taking what we did la yesterday, which is converting within the same units, but now your units will have a decimal. So instead of one, you might have one and three tenths. Okay? You're going to use the same reference sheet as you did the last time. One of the things I noticed that you might want to add is that one yard is the same as three feet. That is not on the table, um, but you will need to know that. Okay, so let's look at the first problem. We have seven and forty-three hundredths of a kilometer is equal to how many meters? Okay, looking at your table, you can see that one kilometer, one km, is equal or the same as one thousand meters. Okay, from there I can do 7 and 43 hundredths times 1,000. And I set my problem up a little bit differently so that I can just drop my zeros because I know that the zeros times 3, 0 times 4, 0 times 7 is going to be um, 0 still. So I'm going to bring my zeros down and then 3, 4, and seven. And again, the trick that some of you may know, some of you don't know, is I have two decimal places here and zero here, so I need to move my decimal two places so that I know that seven and forty three hundredths of a kilometer is seven thousand four hundred and thirty meters. Let's look at the next problem. One and eight tenths of a mile is the same as how many yards? Looking at my chart, I see that one mile is the same as 1,760 yards. Okay, so I can set up my multiplication problem 1,760 times one and eight tenths. Okay, and then you solve it. Okay. And don't forget your decimal. I have zero decimals in the first one, but I have one here. So I need to make sure that I put a decimal one place over. Don't forget it. It's very important. Then you can look at your solution and say that one and eight-tenths of a mile is the same as 3,168 yards. Again, don't forget to label your answer. Let's look at one final problem. 83 hundredths of a kilogram is equal to how many grams and is the same as how many milligrams. These are all equivalent, they're all equal. Okay, same thing. So, looking at your chart, one kilogram is the same as 1,000 grams. So I'm going to solve that part first. So, I'm going to do 83 hundredths times 1,000. Again, I'm going to do it so that I drop my zeros. If you're not sure how to do this, you can do it um, with the other standard algorithm, or you can ask, and I will show you. Okay. And in this, I have two decimal values. So I count over. One, two. So 830 grams writing my label, is the same as 83 hundredths of a kilogram. I'm going to write that up top, and then I'm going to move over to milligrams. And I'm going to use the number of grams that I already have, because that's going to be easier to convert from grams to milligrams instead of kilograms into milligrams. Already sounds confusing, doesn't it? So, one gram is the same as 1,000 milligrams. So I just go back and do 830 grams times 1,000. Okay. Again, I'm bringing down my zeros and finishing the multiplication problem. At this point, I do not have any 
decimals because I have 830 times 1,000. So I do not need anything in my decimal value place. So I have 830,000 milligrams. Again, writing the label, and again, I'm writing it up top. 